So what we usually do is, or I usually do at least at least once a week, but but sometimes more often, is that I take part all of the food or part of the food out on a walk, and then I hide it in nature. So I let the dog stay, and then I just go walk around and hide it, and then they can search for it. So it's not just the eating part; it's actually first searching for food. So I was thinking I could just share a video when a kunak is um, it's my Alaskan Malamute who is uh, doing a food search. Yeah. And if you wanted to go to the full screen, you could use that little bottom right hand arrow. Yeah, it's recorded in uh, in, in yes. In the wrong um, Got it, yeah. <laughs> angle. So anyways you will see so this is where you walk you walk here pretty yeah. much every day mm -hmm. uh, this is and, just like 10 minutes from my house yeah walking and so one of the things if people wanted to do this with their dogs in a more highly populated area like san francisco that you may not even be able to do this because no. there's so many dogs around mm -hmm. um but to just kind of keep this in mind even at home yeah. like for example with my cats i and i always recommend people oh look <laughs> I always recommend people um, play with their cats, give a, a big hunting session where they're like hunting for something. Mm -hmm. And then when they're done hunting, then they get the meal. So yeah. it's like the reward at the end. And also their body gets their metabolism yeah. changes or pH change. Oh, look, <laughs> sorry. So it, allowing them to hunt for their food is so mm -hmm. important because that's a big part of physiologically their digestion, their immune system, their metabolism. Yeah their hormones, all of these things, but it also really engages them with their food in a way that yeah. they're more interested in it. Yeah, look at this. I mean, even yeah. if you live, I mean, you can even do part of this. I mean, here he has to challenge his physical body as well because it's a bit yeah. <laughs> slippery and it, he has to balance. And so it's also like exercise for his whole body and he yeah. needs to think and have and his mind, yeah problem solving yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's not off leash because uh, according to legislation you need to have them on leash this part of the year because there are so many animals with got it uh, are they are they born oh. yeah are they breeding little baby animals is yeah they're yeah. babies in the forest now yes it was a what i was going to say is that i mean i understand that it's that this could be difficult to do outside depending on, I mean, when I lived in California, I, I actually did it in parks, just in a small area, not big as this, but just a tiny, tiny area. I just did hide some, some food items. So, so my dog could do some searching and um, you can do it with treats as well. Um, and he's also like not concerned. He doesn't seem stressed by somebody maybe coming and taking his food no no you know like he's not this is clearly his body language and everything looking about mm -hmm. his demeanor he's just he's interested and engaged yeah. but relaxed he's not stressed about it he's not like no. oh my gosh someone you know like resource guarding would be a behavior exactly. that you might I mean see that, be a, yeah. yeah and you you should be aware of that if you do it in a in an area with a lot of dogs so you might i would prefer maybe you do it in an area where there are no dogs at the moment no, where you do it. Yeah. So to avoid the whole resource yeah. guarding. Part. And even in your house, you could do this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah. if you feed raw, you might not want to put the, the food yeah. in, the, in the bed or something, but I mean, no. you can put it on small plates and in, an, in another room, just try to hide it and yeah. give them a chance to search for it. And some dogs are very, uh, they eat very fast and they might get frustrated if they have to search for the food. So then you could actually give them some part of their meal on a plate first so that they, you know, eat a little bit first and then they can go searching so they don't get stressed about it. Now yeah, do you think that, part. okay. And while this is happening, we can't hear the sound. Are you encouraging him or are you just allowing? No, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm rewarding every now and then, but not all the time. I'm quiet and I prefer to be quiet because I just want him to work in his own pace and not like interrupt yeah. uh, so just That's really cool. to let him yeah. do his thing I, I, I think that sometimes we just you know interrupt too much because 
people are so stressed that the dog doesn't find the treat immediately. So instead of just waiting and letting the dog work, we're trying to, oh, look here, look here, it's here, over here. But just be quiet and see what happens because and they learn so fast to just look at us and be like, okay, tell me where it is. But that's not working. That's, <laughs> I mean, that is time. connecting in some way, but you know, what, we're, is, but... what we're hoping here is to have that engagement with their meal yeah. so mm -hmm. that they, um, because a big part of what dogs do if they were not living with us would be scavenging, hunting. Mm -hmm. Most of their day yeah. would be spent doing the activities that you saw in the video. Yeah. And so being able to be outside, like when you, maybe just, we were talking to you about if you have more footage about a, a, just a walk mm -hmm. and yeah, showing what, that. what that, um, what things you do that might be different than what most people are, are used to doing on a walk and how you're allowing their natural behaviors to develop in a safe way. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, you know, how you could just bring more nature into your dog's life, you know, you know, how to, how to bring more of this kind of behavior and this kind of um, experiences in their life daily, because it does really change their immune system, honestly, and it makes them healthier longer. I mean, I know that you've worked with a lot of your specialty is working with animals in confinement. Yeah. And so I imagine that you've noticed too, that like their immune systems and their longevity it's not just their happiness in that moment, but it's more about their long-term survival and mm -hmm. wellness is very much influenced by those happy moments that they have every yeah. day. Yeah. yeah. It's so accumulation of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is just a walk. We're not actually doing something special. We're just taking a short walk. Um, but what I would, I was thinking about your question earlier, what I would recommend people to do. Um, something I also find very important that connects also to the dog's natural behavior is to actually let the dog decide where to walk every now and then, because it's so common that we decide, okay, I'm going to take a walk for 20 minutes and I'm going to take this route because that route takes 20 minutes. But what if the dog wants to go another, another way? I mean, just, some some every now and then just let the dog choose wherever it wants to go and when they sniff if they want to stay still and sniff for five minutes i mean oh, let them please, do that let them do that oh because my goodness it's so important it's so important i mean yeah. that is such a critical uh sense for a dog and in and, yeah. and especially with dogs the age sometimes people get a little frustrated or maybe sad i'm not sure but when they're, as their dogs age, their world gets a little smaller and smaller because mm -hmm. they can't yeah. go as far, which is natural. That's part of nature. Yeah. That sense and we just, eventually things sort of close around a little bit more and we become a little smaller and, <laughs> you know, as things sort of dim the twilight years. Um, so one of the things that they, they may not be able to enjoy is they can't maybe can't see as well and they can't hear as well. They can't walk as well, but that sense of smell almost always lingers all to the very end. Yeah. And it's such a huge sense for them and them just taking a really slow walk where you have to just be really patient yeah, and exactly. just let them sit and smell on something for however long they need to do it. That's so important because that's their joy. That's their yeah. It's so important. I mean, I don't know if you have more to contribute to that. Like, is there any like studies or research that's been done that have explained about what that, what that does for a dog or what that means for a dog or any information that you have about the sniffing with dogs? 